With four days to go, we are entering the home stretch of election season, and many of us are preparing to cast our votes, but not everyone has the privilege to do so. KSNT News reporter Austin Barnes looks into regulations on felon voters in the state of Kansas. He's live with us this morning. Austin, what did you find out? Brittany, as I followed this story, I discovered that convicted felons here in the state of Kansas are indeed ineligible to vote. But the most interesting fact is it isn't a permanent deal. I visited both with the election office in Shawnee County as well as the Secretary of State's office, Chris Kobach's office. I want you to take a listen to what he has to say about the issue now. Different states have different rules regarding voting by people who've been convicted of a felony. Um, in some states, there's no penalty at all. In other states, you, can, you commit a felony and you're barred for life from voting. Kansas is in the middle. Um, our rule is that if you uh, commit a felony, you are barred from voting, you're disenfranchised during the period that you're under state supervision. The secretary goes on to say there that there aren't many cases of felon voter fraud in Shawnee County. In fact, he says those types of fraud cases are down statewide. The Shawnee County Election Office tells me that their process for double checking registration rolls uh, has them going through various websites, making sure that a voter hasn't been convicted of a felony, keeping up on that and making sure that they're not on parole. Secretary Kobach credits that that's down statewide to the election offices by each county. He says they've done an excellent job keeping up with those voter registration rolls if somebody is convicted of a felony, making sure that their registration gets put on hold. Reporting live in Topeka this morning, Austin Barnes, KSNT News. Thank you, Austin. Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach is expecting a large voter turnout in next week's general election. Kobach says he expects 1.3 million voters will head to the polls on Tuesday. And that translates to a 72% turnout, nearly 6% more than the general election four years ago. It's